Ellen McCauley, Pray It Off in Syracuse, New York. So what is a proper diet for Lent? Let's see if you guys can do this. No chocolate, no cakes, no cookies, no soda, nothing made from sugar. No sweetbreads, pasty, pastries, candy, donuts. No luxury foods. Lobster, smoked salmon. I go never go to like Red Lobster on a Friday because people are like, I'm not eating meat for Lent. Give me a lobster, extra butter, you know, five of those rolls. No alcohol, no ice cream. Let me just repeat that and see if you guys heard me. No chocolate, cakes, cookies, soda, anything made from sugar. No luxury foods, alcohol, or ice cream. Try a vegan diet for Lent. I've done that multiple years where I only had vegetables, fruits, pulses. What are pulses? Guess what? We're talking about that next. Nuts and seeds. Uh, also, when you have fish on Friday, I'm going to make a, a statement here that people are going to be shocked at. You can have fish that's not fried. <laughs> you can. You can bake it. You can broil it. You do not have to have fried fish. And I notice on people's logs, they will write baked fish, broiled fish, or fish. <laughs> now, when someone just writes fish, what does that mean, everyone? Fried. It's fried! <laughs> because no one writes fried fish. They write broiled, baked fish. OK. So don't think you're fooling me, because you're not. Also, uh, have good, clean fun. You know, Bob and I like to discover a comedian that's hysterical, mm -hmm. that doesn't swear, that doesn't make fun of people. And that's another thing. You know how many times I said, please don't swear, please don't swear, please don't swear. No swearing. I was so nice, because the real me wanted to say a few choice swear words myself. <laughs> also, pulses, the superfood you've never heard of. If you eat more fight of pulses, they will help you lose weight. They're good for the planet. They're high protein, high fiber. Let me tell you what they are. Oh, people were talking about food. They love it. Red lentils, aduki beans, soup mix, split green peas. Now those I've had a lot of because split pea soup is one of my favorites. Kidney beans. Soya beans, split mixed peas, chickpeas, a lot of people have had chickpeas, split yellow peas, cannelli beans, a lot of people have had those, mixed pulses, broad beans, black eyed peas. I've heard of them, I don't know if I've ever had any. Mung dal, mung beans, or get. Anyone else want to come up and talk about pulses? Okay. Organic quinoa, tricolor quinoa. Bob and I made that quinoa soup with spinach. Someone in the group said they made the quinoa soup and put um, um, oh, what, what, kale in it, and they, it was to die for. Pay attention to the recipes. And somebody else said they made the Weight Watchers chili and loved it. Marrow fat peas. You might say, but Ellen, what recipes can I make with this? Well, I've even got crispy air fryer chickpeas that you can have as a snack. I strongly suggest you rinse the heck out of everything and not put garlic salt on it. Put some other spice on it. You can buy Frank's Ranch, uh, like you know how you can buy Frank's hot sauce? Well, they have Frank's hot powder and Frank's ranch powder, and there's no sodium in it. And a half a cup, and who eats a half a cup of anything, is 196 calories. But it's 10 grams of protein, but the sodium 714, which is a ton, unless you are very careful about how you make it. But I know several people who put chickpeas, in, you can just put them in the air fryer. You don't have to put anything on them, and then there's no sodium. So you might want to try that. It's delicious. We're going to stop right there, Bob, and I'm going to play the song.